Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Dave from the Camera Store. Today we're talking about a very important lens in the Nikon lineup. This is the brand new Z7200 2.8 VR. A 70-200 2.8 lens is such a valuable lens. It is incredibly versatile. The 2.8 aperture is fantastic because it allows me a shallower depth of field, but also allows me to bring it inside and make use of this lens. Now, 70 millimeters is a great portrait length, and 200 millimeters allows me to bring the action much closer. Now, outside here today, we're at a sailing club here in Calgary, and there's supposedly a race going to be happening soon. So this lens isn't going to be good enough to shoot them when they're once they're way out in the water. But we are going to be able to take some nice portraits, I hope, here, of people getting ready. But also, at this focal range, I keep my distance so I'm not in their way as they're getting ready. Today we are using Nikon's latest Z5 body, and it's important to know that this lens is a Z mount lens and not backwards compatible. When I'm using a lens of this caliber, I'm looking for focusing speed, sharpness, and overall functionality. It has to perform for me. Now Nikon has thrown everything at this lens, and we're going to dive into that a little bit more. First off, we have 9 bladed circular aperture giving us a really nice smooth background blur with our bokeh. We have 21 elements in 18 different groups. We have ED elements, we have a brand new SR element, which gives us basically no chromatic aberration with this lens. Keep in mind, you are going to pay a premium price for lens with all of these features. Nikon has thrown everything they could at this lens optically wise, and it is performing flawlessly that way. 7200 2.8 lens is typically one of the heavier lenses that people are going to look into. Now at 1400 grams roughly on this lens, um, I find it's not a problem at all. I'm used to carrying something like this, so it's not a problem for me whatsoever. It's nicely balanced and it works quite well. I do like that they have the zoom ring on the front uh, as opposed to in the rear that we've had in the past. For me it seems to work quite well and has a very short throw. We have the focus ring as well as a brand new custom control ring which allows you to set things like ISO control or exposure compensation. On the left-hand side of the lens, we do have some of the usual switches. We have the autofocus manual switch as well as a focusing limiting switch. We also have two function buttons, which you can program to kind of be a custom function. If you want to preset a focus point, for instance, we can uh, do it through there. On top of the lens is this little panel, which gives you some information. So you can see what aperture you're on or see what your focal range is and your depth of field a little bit. Now, unless you're meticulous about setting up a shot over and over again, and I don't know where this is going to come in handy. So the lady I just shot some portraits with has finally got her crew together and they're taking off in this boat. And you can see we're probably about 70 meters away and I'm easily able to full frame the boat here which is quite nice as they cut into the wind. We get some good shots. A great feature with mirrorless cameras is their ability to shoot in silent mode. Now silent mode is great in the camera but if the lens is making all kinds of racket as it's racking focus then it defeats the whole purpose of that. Thankfully Nikon has the STM motor built into here. It stands for stepless motor. It means that it's perfectly quiet and very accurate with its focusing. I like how fast this lens can focus. Doesn't matter what subject I've been shooting today, I know some of the sailboats aren't blazingly fast nor are their competitors but it hasn't let me down whatsoever. It's nailed shots constantly today. You can see here on our wall test that it can easily rack focus from min to max almost instantly. Something I really appreciate about this lens is Nikon's latest VR system, their vibration reduction system. It has five and a half stops of stabilization in five axis, which is really nice. It allows me to shoot some more suspect shutter speeds and still get nice, clean, crisp shots. Typically when I'm shooting very low shutter speeds, I tend to find myself in positions where I can sort of rest against my knee and really stabilize the camera as much as possible if I don't have a tripod. Something else I really like about this lens too that's unique for 70 to 200 is its minimum focusing distances. At 200 millimeters, I can focus down to one meter, but at 70 millimeters, I can focus down to half a meter. So this lovely looking fence post right in front of me here, I can get a nice clean shot at a very low aperture and achieve good results. When I'm not shooting lovely fence posts under this gorgeous golden light, I really do appreciate that minimum focusing distance on this lens. It just makes it that much more versatile. The race has ended behind us here and our sun is setting, so it's time for us to call it a day here. And I've really enjoyed using the Nikon 70-200Z Series 2.8 VR. For me, I look at the 7200 as one of the most important lenses in a manufacturer's lineup, and they've really got to hit it on a bunch of different aspects. I've really enjoyed capturing some of the images today and some of the characters that we came across in this foreign world to me of sailing here in Calgary. I like the performance of this lens, I like the optical quality of it, I like the functionality of it, and I appreciate how fast it focuses. It's been a pleasure to use. 
The only thing I don't quite still understand is this little screen on top. But I, of course, want to know what you guys think of this lens. Is it going to be added to your kit anytime soon? Make sure you leave a comment down below, follow us both on Instagram, and please subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll catch you again next time. Hi, thanks for watching that episode. If you want to check out our latest review, click up here. And if you're Canadian and you want to shop the latest gear, click down here.